Okay, it seems it's got a weak spark. I already tried a new spark plug, but it's still not a bright blue spark, just quite a faint yellow spark. So I'm going to remove the starter cover and check the coil out itself, see if there's something there I can see. same time I might clean this up. It's a bit dirty on the inside. The rope and all that still looks fine. So we'll just keep that. Clean all of this up. First time working on an MS-170. There is some corrosion on the flywheel, we can clean that up, see if that makes any difference. I'll have to see if I can fish out cap retainer. Cover it cleaner in there. Get the drill. Compression now, so it doesn't really feel that high. Take the exhaust off, see if we can see any scoring. What is this goopy mess? Silicon on the exhaust. Okay, let me take the bar off and then I can show you. Somebody really tightened that one. Some gorilla. Well, clean that off too. It's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. Put that in the in the too clean pile. Down there. Get the camera to focus on the exhaust port. There we go. So really, not that bad. Check the intake side. Uh, 
Right. And that doesn't look right at all. There's a very large gap on the first piston ring. Now it's visible. See that black gap on the piston? That shouldn't be there, so thinking the piston ring is broken. That's why we got poor compression and probably the scoring on the intake side. So that's going to be a complete teardown. Lovely. I had hoped for just a quick fix and go, but this is not meant to be. I'm hoping the piston is still good to use. So you got metal piston stop, so I've got the nylon piston stop. So we shouldn't damage the piston with this. You just bring it up. There we go. This is really annoying. This saw has been apart before and some body has installed the seal the wrong way around. It should have the flat side on the outside here so it, everything is nice and smooth. This seal is inside out. Well, uh, it is a, a mile cylinder, so hopefully the parts are still salvageable and just a matter of new rings, new seals. But really, how hard is it to follow to put the seal in the right way? And why would, do you use silicon on an exhaust? Probably because there's no exhaust gasket. So we'll have to find an exhaust gasket and the parts that I need I'll have to compare is it cheaper to repair and sell it complete or is it do I get more if I sell it as parts I don't like selling as parts but here in Portugal the second hand market is quite difficult to sell complete saws because you buy a Chinese saw for 50 euros and you get two years warranty so really hard to say but anyway, we'll continue with the teardown. The bar and the chain I can use on my MS211, so, or just the chains alone, so they won't be uh, wasted. Screwdriver. And it's starting to rain. You can hear the, the rain on the roof. Let's see. So, the sprocket has quite a bit of a lip on the inside. You can also see the wear on there. Would still be okay to use for a while, but it is starting to wear a bit. Now I've got the bearing. That one looks pretty good. Now we've got the uh, washing clutch. Let's see. Okay, you rest there. See if this one is able to remove it. It's probably right hand, left hand first. Left hand first, it was. Righty Lucy. So, genuine steel clutch. It looks okay. But I'm not a clutch expert. I got the washer. It says top. Here we've got the oil pump drive gear. That's looking all okay. These plastic teeth are not chewed out.
There we go. Let go, please. There we go. Another piece to join the cleaning pile. Now we got our inside out seal. Yeah, this side. They managed to put the seal in the right way round. I know what you're thinking. What happened to this magnetic dish? I drove over it with a car. They're not designed for that. But surprisingly, the mag magnets didn't break. So I'm just putting the engine parts together in one tray. I've got lots of dirt inside here. Also not a good sign. Yep, there's a bro broken piston ring, as we saw. So there's a little mark on top here. As I said, with a nylon piston stop, you can't really dent it too much, so I don't know what it looks like it's been from a screwdriver or something. But in any case, other than the broken ring and the little scratch at the top, this piston would still be suitable for re reuse. So it's in some new seals. Because obviously, seal that's inside out, not as effective as the right way round. So the sealing lip, that would have caused an air leak. And this bearing is also all dirty and a little bit rough as well as on the clutch side the bearings a bit rough see if we can get this clip off There we go, so I can remove this seal. Not really sealing much anymore. And this piece of the seal came off right here. There it is. You can see here the lip. It's just crumbling away. So that seal is no more good. Good no more. Again, this bearing is a bit noisy, but we might be able to clean the bearings up. That's it. Or something, I don't know. Let's see if it's all worth the trouble. Let's check the cylinder. It's a bit dirty, but honestly, I think if you hone it or clean it up a little bit, it's still pretty good to use. There's heaps of dirt and sand in here. So it's like it's been run for a while without an air filter. But overall, considering Not really, not too bad. But we do need to clean it off. So, where do we put it? To the cleaning pile. And the flywheel key. 
is integrated to the flywheel, which is still attached. I have had one or two where it's been broken off, and you need a whole new flywheel. Instead of just replacing a simple key, which is a, a, a one euro part, you have to buy a flywheel which is at least 10 times or 20 times as much. And we can put this piece here in the cleaning pile. I don't, I don't see where the rest of the piston ring went to. Might have escaped over time. Right. Then we got this exhaust gasket fiasco. Genuine steel exhaust, at least. So clean all this goop off. Tidy this up all a bit, and then we'll start on the 261. That one does feel as though it's got better compression and it's a lot newer, so we might get lucky with that one. Okay, let's swap the parts over.